I have never played Golden Crown Hotel before. I don't know anything about it. Um, I booted it up briefly, and it mentioned something about ASCII mode, so maybe it's like a roguelike or something similar. I am using a controller, but if it's preferred to use a mouse and keyboard, I can do that. Uh, let's check it out. Why that doesn't clear sometimes. Thanks for letting me know. Ever since the new version of OBS, the Stream Deck sends some messages, but not all of them. Supposed to have pretty good controller support. Okay, cool. Okay, no idea what I'm in for. I was looking at the options a little bit here. Uh, let's leave these alone for now until I know what they mean, I guess. Game seems a bit quiet, so I'll turn it up a hair here. I don't know if it's too loud or too quiet as we start playing proper. Press now with Y, okay. Just again. So this says it was released in 2017. Is it like a remake of an older game or is it just trying to feel like an older game? Over to the storeroom. Torch with X. Potion and Quaffet. Okay. Unidentified potions, got it. A or Y to quaff. That's cool. Mash up the beds. Just by moving into them, okay. This is a cool tutorial. Read that book. Cast the spell with R up and float on. We learn the levitate spell. I see. It's cool. It's pretty sweet so far. Shoot the stained glass with the right trigger. I see. Oh, right. Shoot the stained glass. I see. Cool. That's a neat mechanic. It's a way to establish that early, too. I like that. Pass that too fast. You've turned. Kept you out on elixirs for weeks, so we ran out. Your secret is safe with me. Sneak out here now. Stay in the shadows when you can and get out. That's, that's pretty fun. When I healed from the blood, that's smart. This is a pretty, like, user-friendly roguelike. I feel like I don't encounter very often. I've always wondered, like, if someone tried to make one in the old style today with lots of modern amenities, like, what would it look like? Stay in the shadow. Oh, I see. Okay. That's a cool way to teach me that. So far, the controller controls are pretty good. Interesting. Easy, normal. Strongly recommend as a player. Okay. So should I start on easy then? I don't have a ton of experience with traditional roguelikes. Let's take officer to start. But it's disguises. That's fun. Oh, I should be fine on normal? Okay. Uh, I will... Switch to normal. Do I get a chance to switch every time I die? Talk. Don't have gold. Okay, cool. I'm sure I'll die still. I just saw strongly recommended, so I'll take that pretty seriously in games like this. Poison. Rest between fights. Resting is basically waiting, I guess. 
bullets. Howdy po. Hurt those vulnerable to water, boost your strength, cloudy potion. Kind of cool that it tells you what it could be. Tonic abilities, mana. Go up. Trying to hurt those guys yet, it looks like. Okay. Oh, they can chase me across floors. That's not good. I think there's like a noise meter. That's cool. Or organ. Ooh, what's this? The lens. Your range critical hit chance has increased 10%. Interesting. See all my equipment somewhere? Expand the notification log, books and letters. Interesting. On the character sheet. Okay. Gain full HP and MP on level up. Uh, one second. I don't think the game is in true full screen at the moment. I noticed Steam stuff at the bottom there. Book. Oh, that's cool. Let me pick. Increase one's resistances. Turn wild beasts to your side. Wall of ice around the caster. But any of those right now. Maybe bats would count for that. I'm not sure though. Golden shield is of no use to you, no use to you so you'll sell it later. Hello. Pick an attribute. Attack and defense, evasion and accuracy. Max mana and the power of success rate and hunger cost of spells. Protects against psychic. Attack for no. Transmutes a potion of your choice into an explosive. Create a bolt of freezing that deals moderate damage. It can slow enemies. Okay, let's try ice. Legendary Grimoire. Turn invisible. Get an XP level for a permanent level of shadow form. Your speed. All water and ice. Just in the water take damage. More levels of ice. Or plus three max mana. What oh, shadow form is yet? That probably sounds the most interesting of these. Um East, I guess. I feel like the way they're doing the light shining in here and having to avoid it. That's smart. Master key. Okay, cool. That worked. My mana regions over time. Got it. This game's pretty sweet so far. Is the audio balance okay, by the way? Strength for now. Right, thank you. 
I can talk to them, okay? Check these potions. Sustenance, sustenance. Maybe big, okay. These, do those always expire so quickly? Yum, stuffed. Okay. I probably could have charmed those wolves, and maybe it's frog. Oh, I wonder why we're off so fast. Entrance to the greenhouse. Golden sword is useless for you. Copper revolver. Old plate light. Chest mimic. Oh. Okay, the chest mimic isn't fucking around, apparently. Take an invisibility. didn't chase me upstairs. How does it work? they're only introducing the concept of getting vamped in the tutorial i'm not my character's not vamped now oh now i'm vamped and they start attacking me as soon as i get vamped okay and that causes me to lose all of my spells interesting What causes it to uh, deplete? Can I deplete it? Save it for later. Books and letters. Okay, probably a language I need to learn, I'm guessing. Oh, well, this is my original letter that I can't read anymore. Okay. Okay, so there's a potion. Beasts. Is it guaranteed to be one of those three? Not necessarily. Oh, let's go ahead and blow up the walls. Used to int, but bonus strength and speed. Magic to kill that thing anymore, sadly. Did I kill it by getting it stuck against the wall there? I thought maybe it was just immune to physical.
Okay, so potions will never be will never be something other than one of those effects. Got it. It's good to know. Does being a vampire disable the normal like hunger meter? I just need blood now. Okay, it doesn't want me to rest to heal anymore. Gotcha. Bye. See you. It was blood. Delicious. Because instead I get all my healing from killing things and drinking the blood off the ground. stacking works. Did that should show in the character sheet? The lens? Good. These are guaranteed to be one of each kind of potion. Sword upgrade. I guess I should use the ones that I have more of so I know what they are. Spell. Level up. Hey, so I still have access to haste, I just can't cast it because my intelligence is too low. Is that the problem? What governs my ability to cast spells? Do I need to have a certain like minimum intelligence or minimum mana or something? Only humans can cast spells. Oh, interesting. So this is what I got turned human from drinking that, the soul elixir. Yeah, it was the book that I already had on me. And this is only temporary, right? Like, my vamp meter is going to refill. So, just so I follow, is it's basically inevitable that with time I'm going to turn into a vampire, and I the only way for me to go back is to soul elixir temporarily, and that the game is assuming that I'm moving in and out of those two forms. It's not like I could stay human indefinitely. Okay, got it. And the way I temporarily go back and briefly have the ability to cast spells is via soul elixirs and pretty much just soul elixirs. Shit. Oh. That happens sometimes. Unlock the disguise. Switch to normal. Assassin. Merchant. Bombardier. Interesting. No region hunger or blood heal. Chloe. Are most of these disguise effects useless once you get vamped? See. 
Sure. I'll try the Berserker. This is fun though, I dig it. So Enrage is just a spell, it's nothing particularly special. Copper plate leggings are an upgrade. Just that the Berserker happens to start with it in a different stat. Waste of a soul elixir. Legendary Grimoire. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay. I got bled really fast there. Try this a little bit further. Shield. Big potion or nostro? Knockback on attacks is something that's impossible to obtain without being the Berserker specifically. Do all of those effects carry over into vampire form or not necessarily? All right, normal's pretty hard. Got it. Keep trying here for a bit. Did I like befriend this thing automatically? Do everything we can on the lower floors first before we start climbing. Vamp is just going up with time, right? Every time step advances it? Okay. Plates. Sustenance. All right, I want to spend more time lower levels to try to get more XP before we go too high up. Maybe we've done everything at these levels though. Staircase to the greenhouse, right, I found that last time. I see. They just always move away from you toward them. Can I quickly tell whether I'm affected by an ability? I assume it's an alternate progression track, like going to the different zones and dead cells. Left.
current cache there. More clever. See, strong, dull, that's how many turns, time steps it lasts, I guess. Too dark down there. Let's see what the hell. Unbelievable amount of sustenance, but I died to poison. I don't think I'm going to get very far on normal, but I'll keep trying. May as well unlock the other guys here. Um, oh, weekly. Okay. Like, what the heck? I can technically select a random one. Is that what these are up here? Let's see if it lets me select them. With... So I'll just go down the list and let's try the assassin. Aid. Does the assassin just start vamped regardless? the effects of light. Let's see. Thanks. Let's see, evasion and accuracy. to start messing with spells until or potions until I have a stack of at least two of them could be dangerous doesn't mean is dangerous necessarily Well, nearly does though, ding. Edge maze. I see. Oh, I mean, do I die in a, like a single tick of sunlight? Okay. I figure it would do a decent amount, but not near instant death. It's good to know.
Nazi. I do really like the mechanic of the light beam moving throughout the day. Okay, you weren't kidding. That's a lot of damage. These have a chance to be blood. Human again. It was a soul elixir. Okay. Dexterous. The vampires not use their shields. Green noodle soup. Let's see. Do they benefit from any other equipment? Ow. Okay. Exploding ass. Goblin interface. What does it mean to have a point in shadow form? I can't check with the uh, color. Okay. Eight HP minus HP on hit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. This costs normal levels to advance. Oh, your miscast deals damage to you. Is that just uh? There's just a chance to misfire or something. Well, I assume I just can't cast it anymore, right? Because I don't have enough intelligence or mana levels, I guess. So it's removed. It knows that this can't be ale, so it's removed it from the possibility list, I guess. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, this game's fun. Gold piles heal you, that's fun.
Boat Nostrum. Yeah, that's cool. Are the sets of three always the same every run, or does that change? You healing on gold. Okay. You could still get a lucky set of three we're experimenting isn't terribly dangerous, it seems like. Oh, gold is like the worst quality. Oh, that's cool. The potion jacks what three things it'll be before you buy it. Save those gold piles for longer. Yeah. And so far gives enough experience to level up. Well, that'd be great. It was an ale. Did the potions have, like, different rarity tiers? Like, is the XP potion particularly rare, or that's all randomized, too? Sewers, you say. Do I get XP for anything dying on the screen, like via touching uh, sunlight, or do I only get XP if I'm the one who dealt the killing blow? That sucks. I'm about to die. So they're slow. My ability to go up and down floors has been removed. There it goes. No. The demon blood is not what I need. That's the spirit. You want to try merchant again? Heal. Try heal. Not a great start. Nope. <laughs> Got wrecked that time. Damn. I'm guessing the three hour hauling to beat is for easy. <laughs> That's okay, though. I do like this game. It's cool.
Yeah. Will soul elixirs always deplete my vamp meter even if I haven't vamped yet? the idea of Umbra getting you a bunch of life on hit, but Thorn's effect seems nice. Stupefy, that might save my bacon. So can I get multiple stacks of lens, like multiple copies of it? Really? On. More accessible. Glass, wood, and stone. It's going to take the mana for now. Great. Sword. Definitely underutilizing the uh, revolver right now. It seems like using it to shoot out windows is pretty strong. You're a human. Miasma. Even affects the caster, you love to hear it, but not really. <laughs> Things that are stunned take like extra coup de gras damage or anything like that. Visible float ant. Silence. Soul elixir. Okay. And once I know what it is, it'll show on the map as the identified potion too, right? I have this weird thing where I can't press X anymore. That's just because of levitation that I can't use stairs. to lock them down. <laughs> Got a killer tomato. So like the greenhouse is really easy to see and probably insanely dangerous if you're a vampire during the daytime, but it's also really dark at night. I guess that makes sense.
I checked everything there was to check down here. Found some gold piles. Got some kills. We have another soul elixir, so that's cool. Turns humans into vampires. That seems pretty dangerous. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Anything I can do to um, identify potions other than just trying to use them? Oh, another soul elixir, nice. I really like stupefy. The water being useful in specific cases. Eat something, you're starving. Ravenous. Free noodle soup. Excellent. Another one. Good lord. Okay, that'd be nice. I feel like I, if I'm trying to continually not turn into a vampire, then I can't use the ones that risk turning me into a vampire. I love stupefy. I really do. Possible antidote? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it looked like my vamp meter was decaying earlier, but maybe I was misreading it. Those guys are nasty. Stupefy is the best. I assume if I'm like wet, I take more damage from uh, getting zapped, kind of thing. Watching my meter there. Oh, being wet is strictly a good thing then? Okay. like the something super dead uh. shoot that was a pretty good run up until then <laughs> I do think I'm gonna stay on the the merchant I like the merchant and die instantly here, aren't I? Oh, no, if I get a lucky crit, okay. Wait, I don't think I got any weapon upgrades last time. It certainly wasn't helping. It's wild in these games how quickly things can go from it's going okay to you're completely fucked. Overnight, basically. Dexterous. 
I really liked having three ways to stay human, but... Explosive potion. Blood, curry noodle, revealing essence. Now, is there only one master key per run? It seemed like it was really expensive to buy from the store. I gotta hope for it'd be a combustion potion. Hooray! It wasn't a combustion potion. I see. Lens. All right, I now have a stack of these. Got the soul elixir. Okay. Should probably experiment with those closer to when I'm about to turn. So it'd suck to have a potion that could either be blood or a soul elixir, right? Kind of seeing what you mean about being able to strategize a little bit better than in a typical roguelike. It's interesting that this potion system seems so, like, core to an old-school roguelike. I don't think I've seen it used terribly often in more, like, casual roguelites. Says I'm hungry. Ill. Oh, I see you're able to deduce the identity of the other potion. Gotcha. I'm gonna drop vulnerable there. Oh, I can't heal when there's an enemy nearby. Okay, I missed that before. Barely squeeze it out. Can hit diagonal? Rude. Can I hit diagonal? I see. save up for the hunter's lens if that's okay you guys probably fuck you up huh yeah they sure do see and I'm freeing them when I press those switches yikes I see. Thank you, money. Other humans will kind of fight 
monsters, I guess. Only if they're aggroed on it or forced to walk into it, maybe. I'm very dead. I'm learning what things I need to be super careful around. This for shades and giggles, I'm gonna try the light mage. I also just have a spell that lets me redirect light all the time. Start with Celestial Essence. I like that the different classes, one of the design space things they do is which potion they start with identified that's smart. All right, I don't heal from gold anymore. All right, I think I need to go back on the, the merchant for my first clear. E feel stronger. Ah, here it is. Select a potion to identify. Um, I've already committed here. Let's get more information. Give me stupefy back. It was the best. I can see how it could be pretty reasonable for you to stay human the whole time. So does focus require that I be in a light, like an actual sunlight tile to work? the one is I need to get more equipment upgrades like that Looks pretty good oh so I need a key to open the chest otherwise I'm just damaging it okay I think I just always happen to have one before I feel like I'm neglecting buying potions just to be able to identify them. Seems like that's potentially quite good. Hey, it's my buddy Stupefy. God, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Um, bucks. Super duper dead. Nope. Bleed got me. But I learned something. I get someone. Does anyone start with Stupefy? That would make me very happy. Probably not. Charm. Talking to humans and vamps at or below your level brings them to your side. That actually sounds kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool, Arcane Hammer. I'm impressed at, like, how random this dart feels, actually. It can be pretty wildly different. Including dying on the first screen different, okay. Oop, didn't want Assassin, that's fine. We'll try. So is Fade just useful because it stops him from aggroing you, or does it also give you, like, extra damage or something?
I see. Which translates to accu extra accuracy and uh, extra evasion. How dare you? All right, I have to have blood. Well, that saved me. Can't fade with your... Oh, does it cost HP to do in the first place? I think I realized that before. Well. That's nice. This is fine. Everything is fine. Better. All units in a line are lashed in magical binding chains that cause levitation and ability. I don't need attacks. Try charm. I didn't try it before. Oh, there's a class that starts with it. Charm work on pretty much anything that's not a vampire or, like, supernatural ghost-type creature. So you have heal in the event of an emergency. I see. Charm is resisted by the rat soldier. Okay, 21% resist rate. So I kind of got screwed there. Give me a little bit more money here, please. I can almost afford a manual. here in a second. They're usually not reasons to destroy the uh... Oh, rude. The staircase collapses under your weight. Uh, sorry, are there generally not reasons to destroy, like, random crates and stuff, or can they have items in them or something? Should be able to afford the thing I want. You never have anything? Okay. They're just there to be like little obstacles to push enemies against and the like. Sure. More clever, well. Well, it tracks the collapsed staircase. All right, I got found the soul elixir again. Another soul elixir. Oh, there's the chest. Okay. Okay, I have the key. Maybe not. If I have the key, is it displayed somewhere? I think I got it on an earlier map and then like died instantly or something. Yeah, explodey guy. 
it just works in an AoE around me, maybe. Ow. Probably a good guy to revolver in the future. Shit, I didn't realize how low I was from the burning. Damn. The key is? Oh, cool. I didn't realize I could start in this beehive. That's fun. Any way to teach me that I can just break through these walls here. I have a key now. Don't see it. Per meter. Oh, keys number. Okay, I thought it would be like an icon of a key. So each one can open one chest. I misunderstood before. I was looking for like an icon of whether or like binary do you have a key or not. Does that makes sense. I like that the merchant seems to always start with the three purple potions. So you're likely to be able to quickly get full identification right at the beginning. I guess those are all safe to use. Low potion. Second key, okay. That's the lizard leg. Bubbling potion. And, uh, yeah, wait till I need food. Look at that. Get pretty good XP too when I can hit him. Let's see. Um, gives me a higher chance to get the one I want. So, is a legendary grimoire? It doesn't give you better spells necessarily, it just gives you more choices and then a plus three max mana option. Teleport could be a lifesaver. Or it could get me fucking killed, but I'm going to take the mana for now. I know that's not helping me right now, but. I see. Hey, there's my stupefy. Love it. He worked. Bronze sword plus four. Excellent. Still haven't found soul elixir on this run, sadly, so I think I am going to get transformed here. Maybe that's another reason to the merchants help you with reducing the RNG a bit, because you could merchant your way into that potion. Liquid, all right. Hey! Actually, it makes me wonder if the soul elixir is more likely to be the first one, or if it's just I've just been really lucky so far. Uh, we want honey, okay. We 
need a glow potion really bad. Uh... That helps. I can come back here once it's daytime, which supposedly is soon. There it is. You said they get buffed in daylight? Sucks when stupefy misses. I just save the gold more. Need it. Great. Makes sense. I don't think I have anything else to do there. Grimoires. There's always a chance that the Grimoire spell is going to be one I already have, so I can level it up another step, right? Let's take more mana for Stupefy at the moment. Doesn't save me in AoE situations, but if I can lure the enemy away. Having a great day there. Able to top off though. Also an upgrade. Will it not let me buy weapons and armor that aren't an upgrade? Are there stacking effects, like stacking penalties having to do with hunger, or does it only matter once I'm like starving? to you. So sad. Okay. Thanks. This got me killed last time. Thank you, Merchant Passive. And another soul elixir, so that's wonderful. Was an ale, okay. Hey, iron plate leggings. Bronze plate leggings are useless. Okay, sword shields just have like plus values, I see. Stupefy paying the bills again. Love to see it. Some ale. This thing's just confused perpetually or something. Nice. I have one key left. Oh, I mistargeted my stupefy there, which might get me killed. Thank you, gold piles. Hello. Uh, select a potion to identify. Um, I want to know what is the blood potion, I guess. Okay, well.
So you you have like zero percent crit chance until you get your first lens. Is that right? Hey, more stupefy. Whoa, what's up with them making the failure chance so much higher? So I'll try it. Just because it's like we don't it's not always an upgrade, like there's a, a bonus and a drawback. Let me see. See that I'm about to vamp. Is there an alert? I can I notice there's an alert for you're about to starve. Can I set an alert for you're about to vamp? I can also just pay attention to it, but. Screen gets redder. I see like now. Oh, is that why? Okay, it's an intelligence problem. I understand. Thank you. I can start doing that now that I have decent damage. I guess that makes sense, because I thought I was... Only get a level intelligence if that was my main source of damage, but it does its the status effect chance on Stupefy. Basically, need that for Stupefy to stop being bad again. I see. Thank you. can review chances for things hovering over it okay now it's down to 25 percent thank you cool um do you want any of them okay pretty good so, like, the worse you are to spell, the more impactful a single level of intelligence will be. Potion to identify. Okay, well now I can know for sure which one's blood. That seems good. Don't want to use that. Or a calcum shield. Nice. would be nice. Well, I think the amount of heal there isn't super worth it if I'm being actively attacked. It might be better for me to just try to finish them off at that point, you know? Does the vamp meter always uh, advance at a fixed rate? Oh, that looks bad. Oh, I'm like all fucked up and weird looking. Okay.
normal, fine, and good. Okay, so I'm like hallucinating down here. Got it. But everything is an actual known creature, so like that was actually a slime. Okay, I see. A glow potion. Ew. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Okay. Do I want to keep going into the drugs levels? Maybe not. Another soul elixir, which I need to use right now. <laughs> Looking kind of bad. Actually was that guy is not a merchant, right? I'm like, well, that sucked. So was that actually a demon ghoul, or does the name of it also get randomized there? Pretty good run up until then. It always blows my mind in games like this how you can like play it the first time and just die instantly over and over and be like this is impossible and you play it a little bit more and you just kind of realize like where you need to be more careful i see i guess that's extra dangerous because i make a lot of decisions based on how apparently dangerous an enemy appears to be and if i can't tell what the enemy is now it, it seems like it scrambles them in a fixed way so that each creature maps to exactly one other creature. Maybe that's not true, actually. Kind of like applying the whole potion concept, but to enemies, I guess, sort of. We have two of these now. And I see ya. Put some more points into intelligence. Should probably wait until I actually get stupefy or something similar to bother with that, though. Your grimoire. Uh, I don't want to turn into a vampire. Be a bummer. Well, that also is fine. Let's see. I'll stupefy right at the beginning. It seems hard to not take the plus three mana there, because you could always get the other spell somewhere else, but I guess the spells are rare enough that you can't fully depend on it. Bats are supremely annoying in this. We do have stupefy now, so we all alternate. Yeah, 
Okay, I think I always want to buy the potion that is potentially soul elixir. Wouldn't it be great if those were all soul elixir? <laughs> I'll wait till I'm a little bit higher. I really like this game's potion system. It's, uh... It feels borderline like a... A correct direction to take the potions. Maybe not, you know, exactly like this, but... Instead of it just drawing from the entire list of... 100 potions in the game or whatever, I feel like it makes it a lot, e a lot more accessible while still being quite, quite nasty, you know? Nope. Not a health potion. So what's up? It feels like the vampires are really easy, but they can like fuck you up really fast. Is it... Do they just get, like, escalating damage on you over time or something like that? God, ice physics. Maybe it's that they do a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of health, so... They tend to die before they get to hurt you too much, but if there's, like, them and another creature, they kill you pretty quickly. Fast and can surround you easily. Okay. Really like the vamping mechanic because it also gives you a reason to want to not completely cover the floor, right? You kind of have to make that decision. Like, is it worth me for exploring or going up another level? Oh, shit, I'm dead. That's nice. Oh yeah, you get a full heal and a level up. Is that like something that goes away on hard difficulty or something? Pretty powerful use for an XP potion. I hope those aren't made extra rare. I hope you can get a chance to get a run where you just have shitloads of XP potions. Don't you also get a full heal from leveling up, or is that only on easy difficulty? I thought it said that earlier. Is that just a class feature for one of the characters? I see. is really bad. I need to learn when it's time to escape. Are enemies somewhat limited in how far they can chase you downstairs? I keep not wanting to run downstairs because they seem to follow you instantly, but... They could all follow you regardless.
start with this, but I want to come back for the other thing. I think the light idea in this game is really smart, man. So let's see, Stupefy should now have much lower chance. Okay, so it's 14% previously. It's diminishing returns. Since they resisted more on repeat casts, it seems like it's pretty smart to... Try to level it up so that it lasts for longer on the initial cast. Shit. I've usually been able to kill them despite the buff from the sunlight. I'm gonna have to pick that up right away, I guess. I don't want to get too far ahead though. Does that hammer just upgrade a random piece of your gear? Or does it always upgrade your armor? Does that include my weapon? Primer does. Oh, it's for getting a specific potion. Okay. Cool. Let's we'll stupefy. I guess the regular vampires can also inflict bleed, which gets out of hand pretty fast. leave it behind for too long. Hope it rocks on the breastplate. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was it wasn't even an upgrade. Oops. Well. And there was a weapon upgrade here, so rude. Edge maze. Cool. It was a soul elixir. Yeah, it really makes me wonder if like if it's a chance to be a soul elixir that it'll identify as that first, I guess I could just be really lucky. Only like a one in three chance. I don't think yet I've wanted it to be the soul elixir and had it not be the soul elixir.
Fuck vulnerability, man. Not a fan. Does that husk like grow into something else if you don't kill it fast enough or something? Lead triggers if you get multiple times between your turns. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was wondering why they were occasionally turned into mushrooms. Soul elixir. I want that manual, but I need some money first. These little spiral staircase dungeons are always like a dead end dungeon, right? They don't, uh. I like how this fucks with the, the gray areas. So it looks like there's a path when there isn't one. Burn time turning into a vampire, jeez. Rude. What I don't know is if I see it's solid green. No, I guess it doesn't mean that it's always a danger. Thank God. To go, I would like to go in the southeast corner of the map, but can I maybe like bomb the walls here? If I had bomb spell, shit. I spawned, happened to spawn closer to the exit the first time. Probably isn't worth exploring though, because I'm not getting a lot of XP or anything. I just noticed the map in the bottom left is pretty robust for this place. That's nice. To the hive. I've technically started in the hive before, right? Doesn't look like a friend. This is quite bad. <laughs> well, that works. Okay, hedge maze goes to a hive that can kill me very fast. Got it. Bats are the worst. Quite terrible. So bleed isn't like it's just a chance to inflict whenever they hit me. It's specifically based on them hitting me in certain circumstances. see. Does that demand that there be more than one enemy attacking me at that time? Or can you sometimes be able to do more than one attack in a turn? Does haste let you do that? I took haste thinking that was the case. Very grimoire. Hey, 
there's oh crit chance but i can't get to it i need a levitate it's not levitate but it was the soul elixir again on the first try Yikes. Also potentially get the levitate spell. Have a key. Excuse me, sir. That other grimoire off you. Ah, oh, no levitate. Or stupefy. I see cleanse being pretty good. Not that expensive. But it can also remove positive effects. You're unlucky, I guess. Keys. Good timing on the key. Shit, this is bad. Lens. Hate that they can attack diagonally, it's really bad. I like the Crypt of the Necker Dancer kind of made a game out of the whole, like, you need to memorize the attack movement patterns of all the enemies. And, like, made you do that to the beat, you know? They're rare to get two chests that early. Sometimes I'm just getting, like, gear upgrades everywhere, and sometimes I'm not getting any ever. Oh, it's too late for that to have done anything. Okay. Um... I should try more of the spells. Probably take lens again if I see it again. Okay, so as long as they're at least one tile away from me, I can shoot them safely. Good to know. Golden sword, better than what you have now. Um, I don't want to know about any of these. Uh, I guess it would be good to know curry. Okay. Let's not do the hedge mace. It is a silly place. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. Um, you know, like teleports me. Not a blink potion. <laughs> okay. Stop overextending myself in situations like that. Ice physics kicking my ass here. Yeah. Excellent. Hitting those always bad. They're not like an enemy, right? Don't seem to give XP. They like freeze all the nearby enemies. Is that what's going on? Okay. It's always good to hit those if you see them, if you want to be able to freeze enemies nearby. Um, yes, please. Uh, that's not the one I want, but it answers my question. Hello, friend. What you got for me? None of the potions I want. Uh, for Grimoire. Looks like the chance for gold to drop is kind of all over the place in this game, too. Grimoire plocks. So I guess I can get these guys killed through sun exposure. what happens when they die drop a small amount of money okay not super worth it you want both of those gluggy potions Mist cast cleanse. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't heal me there. That explains it. Heal. Ooh. Um. Next mana, please. The liquid, all right. Blood fountain. Interesting. That instantly turned me into a vampire. I didn't even see this earlier. Moves more statuses. I see. Cloudy potion, pungent potion has an XP possibility on it. I don't know if the explodey version is like guaranteed to kill me. Feel a sudden awareness. Okay. The baths. Whoa! With the combination of the harpy and the little guy? Yikes.
I'm chasing the uh, the dragon of that one stupefy run I had a while ago. Where I was going too far into the hallucination dungeon where all the enemies were randomized. Heal again. There's a staircase, there it is. Scary stuff there. How are we doing on potions? Bounty, wealth of the thin air, and the effect gets more valuable as time goes on. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Oh, hell yeah. So the idea, is it as time goes on or as uses of the, the, the potion go on? Like... Like the longer I save it, the more money it's worth, or does it is it scale with the number of times I've already used one or something? I remember if I met a merchant down here. I remember what merchants do merchants even show on the map like that? Ah, uh, okay. Is the deal with heal right now? Oh, it still has a chance to fail. Yikes. Um, let's stay on strength for now. Wait until I get a more exciting spell. Sewers. Oh, really? Like, will it just say on that screen then? All right, sword upgrade. Here's one. Okay, um, kind of sucks. I know what the soul elixir is now, and I have an extra one. Ill. Okay. Okay, that's with the merchant icon. Thank you. That's very helpful. You planning to put this on your sub block again? I am enjoying this a lot. Either sub block or um, voting spreadsheet, I guess. Although I guess it's hard to guess what the how long to beat's going to be, especially playing on normal. Um. There's my boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. I'm impressed at how good this feels to play on controller, too. Lens would be really nice right about now. Does dexterity also make the gun do more damage or no? Hit chance, but not damage. Okay. Imagine on later floors you need dex to even be able to hit it all. Oh dear. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Got another soul elixir. Got a weapon upgrade. Sorry, rando human. Oh, not so sorry. Perfect situation for the big spider. Really? Does that apply to like the merchants too? Like anything dying basically? Unfortunately, that was a panacea. Needle soup, beautiful. So many soul elixirs. All right, uh, I'm gonna run over to finish this run because it could end at any second. So, does quitting out of the game remember where you were on your previous run, though? You can save. Okay. Um, future Marstead, you're probably going to blow this run from remembering how to play, but Stupefy stuns an enemy temporarily. Y lets you rest and heal. You're playing as the merchant, which has you heal when you pick up gold. Um, you identify potions in groups of three you should watch your vamp meter in the top left you're actually about to vamp i'm going to go ahead and use a soul elixir now you have to use the soul elixir potion to empty the vamp meter uh, you have a heal spell right now you have a revolver that you can use for certain enemies like golems um, although i think stupefy is better on golems for now you want to use the revolver on exploding goblin guys this is worth more money the later you use it but maybe the next time you get to a merchant if you need money to buy cool stuff Go ahead and do it you have tons of gold right now from finding one earlier so it might even be worth going back to an earlier floor with a merchant and just trying to dump your money there um other than that be strategic with your use of identifying potions and uh good luck this game rules thank you kiri i enjoy this one quite a bit very fun